everyone, it's Tracy here. Today I'm going to be making this card that I'm showing. I had made this card for the 30 Day Color Challenge um, by Kathy Rakusen on Instagram and her blog. And then someone requested that I made a video um, showing how I made the card. So I thought I would do that today. I am stamping this Noah's Ark stamp set from Jane's Doodles on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock and I'm stamping that with the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. So I just want to make, make sure that I ink that stamp up really well and then um, push it down and make sure you push down in all places of the stamp set because you want to get a really good impression. I'm just using a larger stamp block but you could also use the Fiskars stamp press that would work really well for the large image. And then I am just going to color this in with my Copic markers. Now this is a big image so it did take me quite a while to color that in. So if you're not interested in the coloring part you can just go ahead and skip over this part. But otherwise just sit back and enjoy watching me color.
once I finished coloring that, I fussy cut it out. And then for the waves or water in the background, I'm using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Scallop Border Die. And this is the largest one. So then I took four pieces of blue cardstock and I cut them down to fit onto the white piece that my um, arc is going to sit on. And then I'm just going to run two of these through my cuddle bug at a time just so that I can save a little bit of time. So I'm just lining that up and then I'll tape the die into place with my washi tape. Now the two pieces of paper are not attached together at all so I wanted to be really careful when I put that into my cuddle bug so it wouldn't move. But then I'm just going ahead and running that through. And then I did the same thing with the other two pieces so I can go ahead and take all of those out. And those are going to be the waves. Now you could also do this the opposite way so that the stitched is kind of underneath or like the it, it, it would actually look like waves. But you're not going to get the stitching on that part then. So I just, I didn't mind having the scallops the other way around. So then I'm going to go ahead and take my ATG again and put a little bit of adhesive on the back and just adhere those in um, order. So I went from darkest to lightest, kind of an ombre effect. Um, I like using different colored cardstocks instead of all the same color because I think it shows up a little bit better. Sometimes if it's the same color, they blend together too much and then you can't really tell um, what it actually is. So there will be some extra down below so I just went ahead and trimmed that off. You can see that part. So I just trimmed it off and now I'm going to adhere this to my white A2 size card base. And you can see I'm just kind of testing where I want that arc to go. So it's going to go in between the waves which is another reason that I don't put very much adhesive on the back of those. You could tell when I adhered the waves down I only put one strip of adhesive on each. And then I am adhering the arc into place with a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. And then I'll go ahead and slide that in there and then press firmly down so that it sticks into place. All of the supplies I am using on this card will be linked below if you're interested in seeing what they are or purchasing them. So then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment, and this comes right with the stamp set. And I'm using my Tuxedo Black Ink once again. And then for the entire white piece, I'm going to use my um, Best Creation 3D Foam Scores. Sorry, I kind of forgot what <laughs> they were for a second. So I'm just putting a few of those on the back, and then I will adhere that into place on my um, card base. Alright, so a few finishing touches. I'm going to take this May Arts Natural Twine and adhere a bow kind of in the crease of my card base. So I'll just trim that off and then tie my bow and trim off the excess. And then I'm going to take the diamond stickles and go along each of the scallops. So I just kind of trace um, along the top of each of the scallops. And then that creates a little bit of sparkle in the waves. And it kind of differentiates each of the waves as well, so then you'd be able to um, see where each wave is. But I think it just adds a little something fun to the card. Alright, and then that is my finished card for today, so hopefully you enjoyed watching me color because that is mostly what this video was and enjoyed seeing the whole process of putting the card together. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you back here next time. Bye!